Are you wondering how to capitalize on the social commerce trend? We wanted to learn how the emerging market connecting social media, the web, mobile, and e-commerce works. So we went to the Social Commerce Summit in New York City to talk with industry experts about harnessing the power of this crowded, noisy, and fast-moving business. Consumers really wanted it a personal experience. To me, that's what social really is. You at the center of your own discovery. Some are using it for a new sales channel over Twitter and Facebook and their websites and, and fan pages. Others are using it as a customer service channel, listening to their customers, responding to them. Others are using it for advertising. But basically, we've just seen a huge wave of innovation in e-commerce in the last five years. And so all of those companies are engaging in social commerce of some sort. Social commerce is the new buzzword, fusing the digital trends of social media and e-commerce. Fortune 500 companies, small business owners, and industry experts recently gathered in New York City to discuss this emerging market at Business Insider's Social Commerce Summit. The way that we engage in Facebook, in Twitter, in LinkedIn, in Foursquare, in Google+, people are creating content. It's no longer a page-centric world, it's a people-centric world. So what that allows us is to have an ability to really change the way of how we look at commerce online and really start creating relationships between the users and these brands. For John Kaplan, creator and CEO of OpenSky, a celebrity-curated shopping website, personalizing the consumer's experience has been the foundation of his business. Is that it's boutique-like shopping in a Facebook-like environment. If you think about what, who Martha Stewart is or who Bobby Flay is or who Cynthia Rowley is, these aren't, fo- these aren't pe- people who are following anyone. They're leading the conversation. And so those leaders are discovering the best goods and bringing them to you. Katia Beecham, co-founder of Birchbox, a beauty sample subscription service, shared how Birchbox is using social media to have a relationship with its customers and build a community. You expose yourself when you're a social commerce company, but it's incredible because you have so much more of a power to connect with the customer. And what I think really surprises them is to hear that we're listening. Twitter and Facebook, obviously big for us. YouTube is actually a huge platform for us, and Pinterest is gaining incredible traction. So, I mean, when I say we are, we're everywhere that we feel like our consumers are. For Shizan Bakali, director of marketing at the world's fastest growing e-commerce site, Fab.com, providing the element of discovery has been key. Fab is definitely a place where people go to discover things. It's not a place where you go to search for a specific product necessarily. It's a place where you go to browse and you might not necessarily need one of those items, but you see it and you're just inspired by it and say, I need to have that. The biggest key to maximizing on social commerce has been learning to adapt to the times. We're going from sites like Amazon that have been tremendously successful and are great companies, but sites like Fab.com and others are now merchandising products effectively out of thin air. They're creating demand for them merely by the way that they present them and they have good selection criteria and so forth. So e-commerce is definitely maturing. This is a new wave of growth, and I think we'll see a lot of this innovation over the next couple of years.